hello welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is Disa Dovamane and I make videos about motherhood lifestyle and fitness today's toddler activity is a pom-pom bath and that explains the activity in itself I'm going to be adding pom-poms such as these to my son's bath water so he is currently 17 months old nearing 18 months but I think this activity is suitable for kids one year all the way I'd say until six years the reason for this is that it makes bath time fun I know some older kids don't necessarily like bath time and so if you're struggling with that add a little bit of fun add some pom-poms add some stacking cups I got six of these which are actually going to help him scoop and pour so previously I had set up a scoop and pour station using dry rice for Zion the scooping and pouring didn't really happen or actually it didn't happen at all so I have been noticing him scooping water and pouring it out when we're in the bath because we always use these stacking cups for for his bath time and I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra fine motor skills with these pom-poms so you might notice him um, using this pincer grabs to pick up some of the pom-poms he will scoop some of the pom-poms and the water into the stacking cups and pour it out it's a whole sensory experience I want to say like this is great for fine motor skills and it's a great sensory activity so we are combining fine motor skills of him grabbing like i'm holding this pom-pom like this with gross motor skills by adding these pom-poms to water i learned something really cool from zion's swim school teacher and what she told me was that children or especially smaller children babies and toddlers that go swimming and that play in water um, it actually helps their muscles a lot which which makes sense to me as a personal trainer because they are so small and the pressure of the water is so large to them the water feels like jelly so they have to use quite a lot of force to get through the water and not just swimming um, of course he's not going to be swinging in the bathtub but for him to scoop the water and pour it out he's using a lot of his gross motor skills and it helps strengthen his muscles and it will also help strengthen not only his larger muscles but the smaller muscles that are in his tiny little hands so let's get started i'm gonna to head to the bathroom and get the water running today is actually zion's bath day we bath him every second day not every day because his skin is ultra sensitive um so yes he might you might see him playing but it doesn't end there he's actually gonna have a proper bath and to add to this if you are a parent that uses bubble bath with your kids do it add the bubble bath add the pom-poms it's such a great experience for them we don't do that because of his very sensitive skin So things like splashing that kids love to do in the bathtub that parents dislike so much are actually helpful and yes you do have to monitor it in terms of areas like the bathtub so that your child doesn't slip out the bath when they climb out the bath but letting them splash helps them strengthen their muscles it also helps strengthen their little brains because it makes them learn cause and effect it helps them learn that if I splash the water, it is going to go into my face and everywhere else. 
So Zion is wearing his swimming costume solely for the purpose of us filming this video. Otherwise, he would just be in his birthday suit. So if you want to do this activity, you definitely can. Just have your child naked in the bath. I scooped the pom-poms out using my hands, but if you've got a colander or a sieve that is solely used Music for playtime and not for cooking, you can use that to retrieve the pom-poms out of the water. That concludes this week's toddler activity. We had so much fun and he really did enjoy it. Now you saw how I picked up my pom-poms out of the bathtub. It really took me literally three minutes to do that to wring them out but of course the more pom-poms that you have the longer it will take you um and like i said we don't have a tumble dryer so i'm literally just going to put them in a towel roll them up and hopefully they'll be dry by tomorrow the days are a little bit warmer these days so maybe this might be a summer activity that you want to do you can do this in a blow up pool if you've got one as an outside water activity you can do this in a small baby bath if your child is still maybe like 12 months old Zion is almost 18 months but he is a small person um or you can do it in the bath like we did which doubles up as playtime and bath time so thanks so much for tuning in please do give this video a thumbs up tag me on instagram to let me know if you've tried any of the activities or comment below and let me know which activities you'll be trying i'll see you in the next video bye